Hello, little darling. It's time to get comfy and get ready for a magical adventure in the land of Elvaria. So feel your body relaxing and going floppy. Your eyelids feel heavy and start to close and your breathing slows down, taking long breaths all the way down into your belly and slowly breathing all the way out. And with this next deep breath all the way in and all the way out, you now find yourself standing in the beautiful land of Elvaria, where the grass is green and luscious and the trees are tall and ancient. It is a very windy day in Elvaria and the trees are swaying and rustling just like they do in the human world. But something here is different. These big strong trees are bending in the wind. Not because the wind is too strong for them, but because when they bend and sway and be more flexible, they are moving with the wind instead of standing strong and sturdy and fighting with the wind. You have never seen great strong trees bend in this way. There are even oak trees, trees with big thick trunks and they're bending just like spaghetti. They look almost as though they're all doing this swaying dance together, bending and flopping in the wind. Some of them are so floppy that the tops of them with all the leaves are bending over and brushing on the ground. As you watch, you realise there is someone beside you. Someone very small indeed. Someone who is flying and hovering right near your shoulder. It's a little fairy. She waves hello with a smile. And she tells you that her name is Aria. But her friends call her Airy, and she would love for you to be her friend. She asks your name and then invites you to come with her to meet the other wind fairies. They are all doing a very important job today. You would love to meet them and make more fairy friends and you're very curious about this job that they are doing. If they're called the wind fairies, you think it must have something to do with the wind. It's a very blustery day. Your hair is flowing back behind you and your clothes are blowing and moving around in the wind. You wonder if perhaps the wind fairy's job is to try and stop this wind so everyone can go about their day without fear of blowing over. So you start to follow Airy as she flies along. Then she turns to you and says, you know what, this would be much quicker if you could fly too. She takes out her wand and asks your permission to turn you into a fairy. Ah, oh, that sounds very exciting. You agree 
and so Airy waves her magic wand at you and golden sparkling light starts to flow out of the end of it and swirl all around you. You start to float up into the air and shrink down, down, down into the size of a fairy. And then you can feel wings sprouting on your back. Airy tells you to close your eyes and imagine what you want your wings to look like. You get to choose. So you think about this. And as you do, those exact wings appear on your back. Now, you're ready to fly. You are flying in the air next to Airy. And as you flap your wings, it feels a little bit different, but it feels a whole lot of fun. So, now you follow Airy through the forest as a fairy. And when you reach the edge of the forest, you start to travel up the side of a large hill. At the top of the hill, you can see clouds covering the peak and then you see a whole flock of wind fairies and these fairies are all through the cloud it's almost as though they are making up the cloud itself as you watch them they are all doing something very strange they have odd expressions on their faces, their cheeks are all puffed up and their lips are pursed. And as you get right up close to them, you can feel the wind is very strong here. Then you realise, these fairies are creating the wind. That's why their cheeks are all puffed up, they are blowing this magical wind down into the valley of Elvaria. Airy tells you that these are the wind fairies and today they're doing their very special job. You feel puzzled. Why does a place need wind? It makes it sort of uncomfortable. Hard to walk around. It's so blustery. Airy sees your confused look and she understands exactly what you mean. She gives a little laugh and says that many people wonder what the wind is for, but it does have a very important job. For one, it sweeps up any mess that's littered all over the land any leaves that need sweeping into piles after autumn, any dirt that's sprinkled through the streets of the village. It all gets swept with this great big wind to the other side of Elvaria. Airy giggles at this. She knows it's a bit of a funny concept because this is a forest after all. Well, Elvaria is mostly covered in forest and nature and it's fine to have leaves and dirt lying around. It's only natural. It's just that once a year they sweep it off ready for all the new leaves and dirt of the following year. Nobody minds it really. But the wind fairies are here, and this is their tradition, and they enjoy it. It's what they were born to do, so they can't imagine never creating the wind. The wind is also very important out at sea for the big sailing ships, including the pirate ships and the wind fairies often spend their time out there creating wind for the ships. Also, creating wind over the ocean 
to create waves for anyone who wants to surf at the beach. The wind also helps to turn windmills and wind turbines for anyone who's harnessing energy from the wind. And on this very windy day, it makes it easy for the birds to fly, in one direction at least. It makes it trickier for them to fly against the wind. But the birds find it lots of fun to ride on the currents. It's as though they are zooming along in a boat on a fast river, only they're flying up on the air, riding along on these wind currents. It's a very fun day in Elvaria. Some people love the wind. The witches even have a competition where they fly on their brooms and catch the currents and see who can be the fastest. Airy asks you if you would like to practice creating some of this wind. When she turned you into a fairy, she didn't just turn you into an ordinary fairy, she turned you into a wind fairy. So if you puff up your cheeks and muster all of the magic inside you and then breathe out, you will find that a great gust of wind appears in front of your face and zooms in the opposite direction adding to this great big cloud of wind. So you spend some time now helping the wind fairies create this wind. And as you do, you watch the birds in the sky catching the currents. And in the distance, you can even see that witch race. They're racing over and over again, catching the current, which of course starts right here where you are with the wind fairies. Up on this hill, you are high above the trees and you can see them all wobbling like jelly and bending like spaghetti. It's quite a funny sight. Then, after some time, Airy asks you if you would like to fly in the wind. She explains that it's like zooming down a very fast slide or rafting down a river. This is what the wind fairies like to do at the end of their work on this windy day. Just like the birds and the witches have fun in the wind, the fairies do too. They change the direction of their wind now. They breathe down the side of the hill and Airy explains that if you fly right in this current, you will zoom down the hill and curve down at the bottom, just like an invisible slide. Some of the wind fairies offer to show you how it's done. They go down three or four at a time. Fairy after fairy after fairy, jumping up until they catch the current and then they zoom down the hill. It almost looks like invisible tobogganing in snow. That's how fast they move. Soon it's your turn and Airy says that she'll come down with you. So on the count of three, you get ready, you stand where you need to be, and then, one, two, three, you both leap into the air and catch the current and you're zooming down the hill. Whee! Says Airy with a big grin on her face, her hair flowing beside her in the wind. In just a moment you reach the bottom and some other wind fairies are standing there waiting for you. They jump up and down in the air, clapping their hands and grinning. 
Isn't it fun? They say. Let's go again. You spend a few minutes playing on this invisible windy slide with your new wind fairy friends. So have as many turns as you would like, sliding down this hill, having so much fun. Airy tells you that it's time to go home now. You need to go back to the human world. She says that she will take you back to where she found you today. And this trip back will be much quicker and more fun than it was even to turn into a fairy and fly all the way up here. And that's because now that you're with all these wind fairies, they'll give you a lift. They'll blow you right on back to where you were. So they gather around in a great big pack, again looking just like a fluffy cloud in their fluffy white clothes. And you and Airy get ready again to jump into the air just like you did with the air slide. Only this time, the wind fairies are directing their breath over the forest to the clearing where Airy found you. So on the count of three, one, two, three, you leap up into the air with Airy and you catch the wind current. You fly through the air, zooming faster than you ever have before, flying just like a bird gliding on the wind, all the way over the treetops as they slowly sway now because the wind fairies have stopped the wind over the forest and are now just directing it where you are, all the way back above the clearing where Airy instructs you to fly downwards out of the current and slowly hover down to the ground until your feet land on the grass below. It's time for Airy to turn you back into a human. So she waves her wand and the golden sparkling light swirls all around you and you grow taller and taller and then your wings disappear. Airy tells you that she loved having you here today and all the wind fairies loved to meet you. They would be so happy to see you here again and you're welcome anytime you like. She gives you a little fairy hug goodbye. And with a wave and a smile, flies back over, to, over the treetops, back towards her friends. It's time for you to go back to the human world. So you make yourself comfortable on the squishy grass below. You take some deep, slow breaths. And close your eyes to the beauty of Elvaria. As you do, you're transported back into the human world where you feel so relaxed and happy and grateful that you had this wonderful adventure in the magical land of Elvaria. <laughs>